Hey, what's going on Flight Simmers? My name is Adam and welcome back to another Information Alpha video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the FA-18 Super Hornet Precision Audio Pack by Echo-19. But before we get into today's video, I'd kindly like to ask you all to hit the like, subscribe and ding dong the notification bell. This not only helps you stay up to date with the latest Information Alpha content, but it greatly supports our channel. We also have a Discord link in the description below where you can join and discuss all things to do with aviation. So let's take a closer look at the details of the FA-18 Precision's audio pack by Echo-19. This is a sound pack developed for the default FA-18 in Microsoft Flight Sim. This also works on the freeware models from FlightSim.to and also the Super Warrior by Touching Cloud. A key point before installing the audio pack, ensure that you have spatial audio turned on and enabled in your Sim's audio settings for the best result. So what additional stuff do you get in the audio pack then? So it uses a professional WY sound package for the Asobo FA-18 Super Hornet. This includes engine sounds recorded from a real Super Hornet with high-end recording equipment, all the way from the startup to the shutdown. It also includes new high-quality APU sounds. One that I'm really interested about is the realistic Betty callouts and alerts. There's also new cockpit sounds, such as the avionics cooling systems, the throttle quadrant, and the control columns make more noises now, as well as the battery. New air turbulence sounds have also been added. This is where you can really hear the effects of the aircraft due to the loading of G-Force. One thing that I'm really interested about as well on the new audio pack is the new cutting edge flyby effect. They state on the website you will feel like you're at an air show. So they say this is multiplayer compatible. So if you're flying with your friends, you'll also have the same raw power as the single player versions. This also comes with two new liveries, a fictional VFA 106 CAG paint and their own demonstrator unit paint kit by Reese. The price of the audio pack is $17.99 Australian dollars or 12 US dollars or £9.23. In my opinion, I think that's quite a reasonable price considering the lengths they've gone through to record all of the audio. So let's take a closer look then at each individual sound. Starting off with the sounds of the APU. We'll get the battery on first. So it's a new battery sound. We'll get the generators on. And we'll take a listen to the APU. Okay, there we go, the APU started. Doesn't that sound amazing? I think it's really good. So they've also mentioned that there's additional sounds in the cockpit. Let's listen. So when we move the throttle forwards, that makes a really nice high quality sound. Well, let's go and start the engine and uh, see how she sounds.
Okay then, so I'm going to take the aircraft out onto the runway. We're going to take it for a quick loop around the bay area. And uh, we'll come back in and I'll give you my final thoughts on the audio pack. Okay, so we're going to enter runway 23 left. Put our landing light on. The approach looks clear. And the other end of the runway looks clear as well. Okay then, let's go full power with the afterburners enabled. Let's see what it sounds like from the cockpit. So let's hear what the stress sounds like in the aircraft. Go full power, get some speed, level off, and we'll pull some high G's. Already I'm hearing improvements, it's really good. It's vastly improved over the default. Okay, so next off on the list then, to uh, have a little preview of, we're going to get Betty to have a little moan at us. We're going to slow right down, pull the spoilers out, oh, oh they sound much better as well, yeah, this, all the speed, the spoilers have definitely been improved. Okay, as we go slower, she's going to have a little moan at us in a minute. Check gear, check gear. There it is, check gear. Now let's go full check power. Gear, check gear, Afterburners. Check gear, check gear. And get out of the stall. Nice. Well, that is a vast improvement from the default. It's good to have some uh, some callouts from Betty. I own the copy for DCS by by Eagle Dynamics. I do like to fly that on uh, the odd occasion because I'm quite a big fan of the FA18. So to have this audio pack, it's uh, it's quite nice actually. So next on the list then, we'll uh, build up some speed, we get past Mach 1 and we'll listen to the sonic boom and the fly pass. Okay, there's Mach 1, so we, if we hop outside, we'll uh, give it a listen. So we're at the front of the aircraft where it's supersonic, we'll move slowly to the aft of the aircraft, we should be able to hear a sonic boom.
Oh, there we go. That is a vast improvement from the default sonic boom. The developers also said that if we move really far away and listen to the flyby, it will sound really good. Isn't that stunning? Okay, so let's head back inland now. We're uh, getting towards our bingo fuel, so we will head back to the Air Force Base, where I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, there's the runway over there. Park and brake, and engines can be cut, just like so. So, my final thoughts of the audio pack by Echo 19. I think it's a great little addition to the sim. It makes the immersion of the aircraft just that extra little bit more special. The fact that it works with multiplayer aircraft as well is a great addition. So if you wanted to perform air shows, then it will just help boost the realism. The addition of Betty in the cockpit is a great little feature. That was one thing that was really, really bugging me in the default version of the audio for the aircraft. And also the paint kit. I think the paint kits look really cool. And for the small price of nearly nine pounds, I think it's quite reasonable. If you do like the sound of it, then head to the description below. It is an affiliate link, so we do earn a little bit of commission if you are to purchase it. And that greatly supports our channel. 
If you do like the video, then be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and ding dong the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest information and alpha content. We also have Instagram and TikTok. Those are in the description below too. We also have the ability for people to join the channel as members. Anyway, thanks to Orbex for supplying us with the copy today. My name has been Adam and you've been watching Information Alpha. See ya.